There was no doubt about it. He was dead. Joseph Hawk was dead. Strange, he thought. I don't feel dead. He tried to sit up, had a stroke and died. Then Joseph was supposed to be right there with Peter. Well, Joseph Hawk was on his back so Peter went up to him and grabbed Joseph's coat. I remember standing there with my mouth agape. I believe he is dead, said Peter. This, however, is only an excuse, thought Joseph. And I don't see how the thing would have ended if you hadn't gone for the coat or if you'd left him outside. And it wasn't because of him. In a dream, thought Joseph, I found him lying on his back a few steps away as if dead. I went up, threw my hat on, and walked to him. It was almost as if I walked the dog before him. I went back down again and walked him again. Thereafter Joe went around the house. When he came to where Joseph was he threw a stone into his hand, then ran away. This story was popular in Britain. John Galt said in the early 20th century that Joseph was killed a few hundred years ago. In England, the myth was much more popular, but even so it remained relatively unknown.